floors already. Oh. It's just her. Oh. Okay. Okay. It's just just going going out. Oh. Hello everyone, I'm Carlos Dosa. I'm Carlos. And this is my project. I did it on Instagram. Um, so people say don't judge a book by its cover, right? Well, that can be a little misleading because a cover title is the number one focus during an author's marketing plan. This book is called The Left Hand of Darkness, and I chose it because it has a dark and ominous cover, and it was on the summer reading list. It is written by Ursula Le Guin. I was surprised when I noticed it was set in foreign planets, as I thought it was about the underworld. My favorite character in the book novel is Estraven. He uh, he is an exiled prime minister of his home planet. Um, in the book, it is not shown why he is exiled, uh, but he, he's kicked out for unknown reasons. But throughout the novel, he protects Ai, which is the main character, and he even sacrifices his life for him. One of the many events. Um, I, I found significant is in the beginning when they're doing a ritual, which is mixing blood cement to uh, into the ark. This ritual represents all the all the lives that has been sacrificed for the nation, and the author is um, foreshadowing uh, what's going to happen in the future in the book, which is Stratton giving his life. And I, I thought that was an important part of the book. Is that us? Um, yeah, it is. What? Just keep finished. Alright. Uh, Ursula Le Guin uh, uses a setting to her advantage. As it is set in different planets, this lets her uh, create, create uh, fictional facts about politics and about human beings and about how they reproduce. What shocked me the, uh, the most from the novel is that this society, there is no gender. The people reproduce one month a year. And, uh, the, and she makes everything different from our own society. And I thought she'd want to relate it to us. But this book is not relatable. I did not enjoy this book. Uh, I was not entertained by excess of perverted imagery. Uh, Le Guin wrote a book that was um, relevant to her time since com communication was a problem back then in the 60s, but it's um, it's irrelevant now since we have uh, a lot of communication between nations and there's a lot of media out there. I would never recommend this book to anyone. <laughs> I respect it should be taken down from the summer reading list immediately. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, stop the recording because it's taking place right now.